Hey everybody, Dan here with Pain Free You. Today I wanted to talk about this concept. Where the mind goes, the body flows. Alright, little, little phrase I, I heard somewhere on the internet. I don't know if it was in a comment or maybe I heard somebody say it, but in any event, I don't know who to give it credit to, so if this is something you have said in one of your programs as a coach, my apology, not stealing it intentionally. And if you let me know, I'll give you all the credit in the, dis in the description. But uh, where the mind goes, the body flows. Relax. Let your mind go to calm. Slow the thinking. When you slow your thinking down, you don't believe those thoughts flittering by at the speed of light. Your body tends to settle down. So do that more, more often. So, where the mind goes, the body flows. And I've done mindset videos for a long time and one of the concepts that I put out there is that the mindset absolutely needs to lead the way you cannot expect the symptoms to disappear before you start to believe that you're okay that you're gonna get okay and that you can be calm because if you're freaking out and your mindset is in the toilet don't be surprised when you feel like shit forgive the uh, language but seriously if your mindset is in the toilet don't be surprised when you feel awful, right? And if you are struggling with a high set of symptoms right now in the present, it's a really good time to evaluate. Where's my mindset? Where's my thinking? Where's my fear level? Are the things I'm thinking, doing, and saying conveying that I'm okay? Or conveying I'm in trouble? And what you will notice if you start to Draw a parallel between your fear levels, your catastrophic thinking, your despair, your hopelessness, and your symptom levels, you'll find that they go kind of parallel up. But the good news is you start to work on the mind and the mindset and the consistent, credible messages of safety based on the clarity that you're not broken. When you start to focus on the mindset first, and bring that down, you're going to notice another correlation that your symptoms follow the mindset. Where the mind goes, the body flows, right? It's actually how it works. It's actually how it works. You've got to create it in your mind first. You've got to believe it in your mind first. You've got to think better than you feel for a while until your brain says, I can trust this guy because he's consistently calm. He's got clarity as to the cause, perceived danger, but not actual threat or danger. And when you do that consistently and you show up calmly, that's the mindset. That's built on a foundation of belief that I know what's going on and this applies to me and I know I'm okay, right? You take the intellectual knowledge and you turn it into wisdom by accepting it, right? So important, so important. So this can be a short video. Where the mind goes, the body flows. If you're not liking the way your body feels right now, don't stare at your body. Stop hyper analyzing every sensation in your body. Focus on mindset. What am I thinking? What are those thoughts creating emotionally? What am I predicting for my future? What, where's my hope for the future, right? You know, Vanessa, a recent success story, talked about something called a hope rope. So I'm throwing you hope rope here. And Vanessa, thank you for that phrase. I like it. Um, yeah, what's your view on the future? Do you believe you can get better? Do watching success stories inspire you and say, holy crap, if they can do what they did, I can get better too? Or does watching success stories make you feel worse about yourself because you haven't achieved the same success yet? And then you're saying, well, I must not be capable because look, they're getting better, faster than I am. I've been at this for a long time. 
If you're telling yourself, I've been doing this TMS work for one, two, five, ten years. So I'm not getting better. Okay. Have you recovered from fear yet? Are you still complaining about your symptoms, even internally? Are you still focused on them, hyperanalyzing every sensation in your body? Have you given up hope that you'll get better? Have you decided, this isn't going to work for me? Doing the work isn't going to be productive if you're doing the wrong stuff. Fear, catastrophic thinking, worry, self-blame, judgment, self-criticism, focusing on nothing but fixing, 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 instead of returning your attention and brain's engagement to the real world, right? Are you doing the right things? Because until you are, the clock doesn't start on how long you're doing this work, right? You know, I just recorded a success story today with somebody who got better in about two months from really finding out this stuff. But she started out with the right information and started doing the right stuff early. And I know that one of the reasons why I'm so compelled to put out content all the time is because I know there's a lot of information out there. There's all sorts of TMS, mind-body coaches, neural retraining coaches, and programs, and everything else. And it seems like everybody and their sister is trying to be a, a coach these days. And that's wonderful. You know, that's wonderful. I hope those people are helping others. And I believe they all have great intentions. But if you're jumping from one to the other, to the other, to the other, and trying this for a little while, it didn't work. Trying that for a little while, it didn't work. I got to find the right program to fix me, fix me, fix me. Doesn't that kind of lay the groundwork to say I'm actually broken and therefore I need fixing? Hmm. What would happen if I made a decision to accept that all these symptoms are a false alarm and they will settle down when I accept that they're a false alarm, they're perceived danger, not actual danger, and make it my goal, my mission. My dominant thought is going to be, I'm good, I'm okay. And work towards indifference to say, well, if I know what's going on and I'm not broken, then why should I care about and stare at and try to fix these symptoms all day when I know by default I'm actually all right already? What do you have to fix? What do you have to lose? Right? So, where the mind goes, the body flows. And that truly means you got to think better than you feel. Your mindset needs to lead the way. So I'm going to stop it here. Love you all. Thank you all for the uh, congrats on the 2,000 daily videos in a row. Very heartwarming, all the kind comments I got uh, in yesterday's video. So I appreciate you more than you know. I've learned so much from you. And uh, as always, we'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Love you.